Good evening, everyone. All right. Hey, guys, what's up? We are live right now. Um, I am, I wanted to make a video, okay? I've been, I, I've received so many questions on how do you figure out what to put on the ham radio? And I've always given the same kind of answer, and that answer is, well, it's trial and error. It's trial and error, it's trial and error, and trial and error. And what you do is you load up your chirp, you do a search with chirp for all the frequencies, the registered frequencies in your local area, and you just start start working through them. Well, there's a better way. There's, there's a much better way. It, and it, it will at least give you a couple, if not significantly more frequencies that are immediately popular, immediately useful, immediately valuable. So I already got some people in the chat. What's up, everybody? Jace, Elijah, James. I'm trying out a new chat plugin as well, so you're going to see me or the chats over there like that. Burp, burp, burp. So that's very cool. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to use a website called Broadcastify. Broadcastify. I'm going to switch over to that right now, but before, let me, do I have a radio here? There it is. Radio. So let me just go back a step. So I was saying you program your radio and then you just, hey, Jerry, hello from Oregon. Very nice. So you just program your radio and like scan through until you find something. Well, that's only as good as if people are talking when you're scanning, but you, you don't really know um, at, a, at a glimpse on all the frequencies, like all your frequencies being um, used or, or are people on it. You could be listening to one frequency, but there could be a really engaging conversation going on on another frequency, and, and you might not even be... You may not even be hearing it, right? You wouldn't know because this has dual watch, but you're really only engaged with one at a time. So insert Broadcastify. So this is Broadcastify, very simple website, right? So um, this is also, let me, let me preface this. This video is a follow-on video with um, my Baofeng video that I did, the live video that walks you through how to program the Baofeng video from, from box to, to using it, and also goes along with the ham radio crash course. So this is how you use it, okay? Very simple. It, it's, it's, basically, it's basically a glorified scanner app, kind of. So what you gotta do is you click on this thing that says listen, this box, this uh, big box that says listen. And you'll get a, a map of the United States, and you can, you, know, you can go all over the place, right? Scan all over. Very easy, very straightforward. You can type in your zip code if you wanna do that. But if I click on California, of course, your mileage is going to vary here completely and, and appreciate that. Um, this is just another helpful way that you could, you could you know, improve upon the, the, what you're currently listening to. So I'm going to click on Los Angeles County. So far, so good. Very easy. And if you scroll down here, you get a list of all the happening frequencies. And you kind of know what's happening because you can see the listeners, all right? So a lot of these are going to be, you know, the Sheriff's County Dispatch. Um, what's this 22? Burbank Glendale Police Fire and Area LAPD Dispatch. You also have California Highway Patrol. And then you'll also get some, like, D-Star reflectors. And D-Star is a uh, ham radio um, frequent. Uh, it's a mode of ham radio. You have a K6HOG. Um, that's a contractor peak repeater. Um, it says this is a club repeater for Tom's International Talking Society. TITS, T-I-T-S, repeater. So um, I'm assuming that's going to be more of an outlaw repeater. Um, K6MWT, that's the renegade repeater. And so if you wanted to, you can click the little play button on any of these. I don't know if this is going to come in. Yeah. Um, so you can do this on your own. I don't want to. I don't want to broadcast a bunch of other people talking uh, on the live stream. But basically, you can use this. So there's 88 people listening to that Renegade repeater, right? 83 people listening to LAPD South Bureau. 40 people listening to Long Beach uh, Police Dispatch. So you can get all really good, crazy repeater action um, just from from picking your areas uh, around the area. So. The repeater I'm most often on is in San Bernardino. I'll tell you guys so you can, you, you might hear me if you use the website. Or if you're in Southern California, you can catch me too. Um, I am often on, 
or spark. There's another renegade repeater. Um, the K9 KAO I used to be on there, but oh, there it is, spark. Um, that is the Santiago Peak repeater. It's the four six six point six four zero zero. So I'm always on that one. There's 21 people listening to the right now. Wow, there's 109 people listening to San Bernardino County System Sheriff and Fire. That's pretty cool. So basically, by just a quick little search through here, um, you can see just who's on it, what's active, what's going on, and you can actually queue up a bunch of pop-up windows and you can see um, and listen to whatever's going on. So that's like an amazing, easy, simple reference. Uh, again, this is a video to go along with my video that's up in the cards. You can click on that. It'll take you to the Ham Radio Crash Course, but specifically that Baofeng Complete Setup. If you, if you just go and follow that and then you supplement in um, some of these frequencies that we just looked at with the with the Broadcastify, you could work out like a really, really good, um, I don't know, what, whatever you want to call it, a really good um, radio setup. So I'm going to leave, uh, I'm going to switch back over actually. So we got a pretty good amount of people uh, in the chat right now. Is there any, you guys have any ham radio questions? I received a lot. Hey, what's up, Bob Sears? So you're in Cali too. What part of Cali are you from? Mm. And of course, I'm, I have a beverage. Today is eggnog. I'm jumping the gun a little bit. We're not completely in December, but it's post Thanksgiving, so the eggnog can flow. Let me go through some of the toys are for boys. I programmed a Noah New York. That's the weather system. Awesome. Someone talking 24-7. Yeah, no one talks. It's not someone, but there is a voice uh, all the time. Mendocino County. Okay, Jace, what's up? Wow, we got a lot of California people here. I guess the, the time is right. It is like 9 o'clock for everybody on the other side of the country. It's, it's pretty late there. So if you are watching me from the East Coast, then hey, thanks for staying up late. Uh, Camarillo. Very cool. Very cool. Don't get up there very often, but I do enjoy it. <coughs> Sorry, that's Edison apparently dying in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I, I will mention that uh, I am still working on... Oh, my God, I almost spilled eggnog. That would have been a true live stream if I spilled something. Still working on the technician class stuff. I plan on doing a series, at least two live streams. Um, based off of this. So if you don't already have this, tis the season. You, you might want to grab a book uh, for somebody. They're relatively inexpensive. Link's in the description if you want to go check that out. I get affiliate money, but I'm not making um, any additional money, nor are you charged any more money for, for going to it. So very cool. Belmont Shores, you're basically in my backyard. Alex in Long Beach and Darren, you guys are both like right in my backyard. That's awesome. You're right down the street from me. Well, relatively down the street. Mm. And then we got Dubai, Taz G. What's up, dude? Very cool. Um, and then I made a purchase today. I made a purchase today. Uh, a pretty pretty sizable chunk of, of radio testing equipment. I promised to do a video on antennas, specifically antennas for the Baofeng. So I've got a bunch of more antennas coming. And I bought an antenna analyzer. So we're going to do some serious stuff. Um, I'm going to try to do as much of it as I can on a live stream. And possibly it's on standalone video because it kind of deserves my time to make it make it right. Because there's a lot of nerdy stuff that goes into antenna analyzing. It's called testing equipment. It's true. It, it's, it's, it is testing equipment. It is a, a, an antenna analyzer. So you are actually using it to, you know. These are non-adjustable antennas, right? not adjustable but if you were building your own HF antenna like a dipole then you could absolutely use um, an antenna analyzer to shorten or lengthen the legs of the dipole to get the perfect perfect resonance for the frequency that you're on and covering that really quickly when you set your when you set your radio to any given frequency right that frequency when you hold down the PTT button 
is energizing the antenna. And that antenna is going to be resonant over um, an area of the frequency. In the middle, it, right where your frequency is at, if your antenna is tuned perfectly for that frequency, then you'll get an amazing um, SWR, standing wave ratio. It means your, your power that you're energizing the antenna is, is almost perfectly resonating um, and you're getting the best transmission. It'll go the furthest, it'll behave the best, you'll get the best sound quality. It starts to taper off though, it's kind of like a, a, a peak, it starts to come down. And the antenna -lizer will tell you with your antenna where the, the trail off is and then how bad your SWR gets as you get wider or farther away from that perfect area. So, with an antenna analyzer, what you can do is you can, um, over VHF and UHF, I don't know that the one I got does UHF, I think it only does VHF, but that's okay. You can still do a lot there. It'll tell you where the peaks are, where it's most efficient, and um, if it has a good, a nice gradual peak, or if it's a very steep peak, then that means that it's really only good in the middle of the frequency band, it's not good over the wide width of the band. So that's just a little, little teaser for the video that's coming up. Um, do I listen to the Catalina? Yeah, so Cara, or Cara, I don't know how they pronounce it. Um, it is programmed on my FT60, which I sometimes lug around, and I occasionally put it on some of my VHF stuff. The problem is, is that I'm far enough away from Catalina Island, where I live, that I can't hit it with just um, my, ha my handhelds. I need to have my car radio, which is a 50-watt radio with a much better antenna. Now I can hit it no problem, but it's kind of one of those things. It's like I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna just keep that loaded for shits and giggles if I'm not gonna talk. Usually when it's an HT on VHF and UHF, these are all stations that I want to want to talk on, or they're uh, police and emergency frequencies. The uh, HF stuff, like I do with my with my shortwave, my single sideband equipment, um, my Texan 660. That I can just turn on and I can kind of just hop around and listen and I don't need to get really active in communicating because I don't really have a good HF setup at this time. But that's something I, I hope to fix in the future. So that's going to pretty much do it. Um, I'll give you a last couple seconds if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop out of here and I'm um, going to go work on my, my technician class book. All I'm doing is taking some notes so I can point out what the like most important stuff is so that when you guys get into it or start studying that you can avoid some of the pitfalls and things that um, that I think are important to pay attention to. Largely when it comes to passing your technician class license you need to focus on safety first and also um, some of the standard allocations, things you're not supposed to do on the radio. Things you can do, things you can't do. Does Broadcastify list the frequencies? Do they list the weather bands as well? Um, I don't think they list the weather bands, but yes, they absolutely do list the frequencies for the amateur radio stuff. Let me, let me look. So the amateur radio stuff is all absolutely the frequencies. You can see that right there. The Renegade repeater, it says, is 147.4350. Now, um, if you wanted to know, so repeaters have an offset, meaning that they, they have a step up or a step down, and that's the input versus their output. The 147.4350 is the output of the repeater. So you have to talk on the input and you listen on the output. New Zealand, right on, Benjamin Isaacs. Hey, thanks for thanks for listening. That's very cool. Glad you could glad you could come on. So um, yes, you get the 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 receive side, the listening side of the frequency. To find the input side, you would need to hop on to um, radio reference or just search the call sign, the K6MWT, for example. That's an FCC call sign, so you could find out all the details on the repeater, what they registered, who the repeater is registered to, etc., by just Googling it. As for the California Fire Specials, the repeater frequencies, all that, you would need to probably use radio reference for more details in that area. So that is how you figure that out. Cool. All right, well, um, we're going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. This quick little video again, but th this is just as a kind of follow-on for the 
Baofeng setup video. So hopefully you can go figure that out. Um, yes, toys are for boys. Yeah, good point. I, I should cover that before I, I dive off here. So not only do peter, repeaters have an offset, they also have something called a PL tone. And what that PL tone is, is your radio, when you, when you hold down the PTT, it starts to transmit this PL tone. And the PL tone, when received on the input side of the repeater, at, hey, guys, hey, <laughs> the kid's dying. Um, the, it turns the repeater on to receive what you're saying and then transmits it out, right? That's its, that's its way of telling the repeater, hey, I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you, and then receive it and then transmit it. If you don't use a PL tone, you will not be able to talk to the repeater. Most repeaters in Southern California have a PL tone of some kind. Some are unlisted. Some have uh, other things to prevent people from talking on it because they are private subscription-based repeaters, which is a real thing. So again, that's something that you'd look up on uh, radio reference. So you use Broadcastify to find repeaters that are popular in your area, like this Renegade repeater, which has 79 people. I'll switch back over. 79 people right now listening to the Renegade repeater. Super, super cool. Um, then you go online and either Google the K6MWT. It'll tell you what the PL tone is and what the offsets are, and then you can program that into your radio. So pretty simple, pretty simple. Hopefully this is all building upon your knowledge, and you can use that to be, I don't know, more effective, have more fun, quicker, right? Because what I said before was just load up your radio and keep track of everything and just check the boxes as you go along with what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep. This is a lot faster. You get immediately a good handful of, of frequencies that you can start monitoring right now. Put those right in the front of your radio, the first couple ten channels, and you're you're set. You're gonna see some you're gonna hear some crazy stuff because this is recommending repeaters that are that could be on the on the edgy side. So again, that's just an FYI, but it's people talking. So that'll do it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up on um, Instagram or Facebook, or Twitters, as you can see on the bottom here. It tells you exactly where to get me. I'm Hosh Nasi everywhere. So that'll do it. And what are we saying? Seven threes? Yep, seven threes to you. Dinner time here. Yeah, man, um, I just finished dinner about an hour ago. I laid there. Anyway, that'll do it. Look for uh, another video in the future. I got something cool to talk about. I was on a podcast, a very fun podcast that I want you guys to listen to. So it'll be in the next video that's probably going to post tomorrow sometime. So, all right. Take it easy. See ya.